You know, normally here on the channel, I try to avoid using AI generated stuff of any kind just due to the uncertainty that lies within the possibilities of copyright issues in the future. Because what seems like something you can use now may end up uh, not being something that you can in the future if people find that it's using uh, their property in the generation of it. So I've just kind of always avoided it due to that like uncertainty of whether or not it's truly copyright free or if somebody could potentially have grounds for uh, claiming that it's their own property. But with this type of a video, I really can't do it without using some kind of AI generation because during all the research that I was doing, it was impossible to find images of non-typical elk. It was impossible to find images of really any type of special looking elk at all on any of the stock image websites that I have a subscription to. Let's just uh, uh, kill that bear as well since it's aggressive. But yeah, as I was saying, it's been, it was difficult to find the types of images that I want. So I did use AI generation for these images that we're about to look at of the types of things that I would like to see with a potential Rocky Mountain Elk Great One because that is one of the most requested Great Ones in the entire game. Like I said, I really don't like using AI, but in this case, it was really the only way that I could achieve what I want to for this particular video. And I think you guys will be uh, pretty impressed with some of the results that I was able to get out of it. And I really think that a lot of this stuff could potentially be used in a Rocky Mountain Elk Great One. And it's pretty crazy looking. The first image that we have right here is a beautiful elk with kind of like a silvery black fur type. I do think that this is somewhat in line with what we could see for a Rocky Mountain Elk Great One because they've done these types of furs in the past. They've done these more silvery looking furs. They've done the black furs. And I really think that this would kind of fit in line with what they did with the Great One Fallow Deer. Because the Great One Fallow Deer has the Fabled Hooded and the Fabled Silver. And this type of a fur, I think, would fit well with a Rocky Mountain Elk Great One. There is a lot of different fur types that could look quite good that I really wanted to include in this. But I just couldn't get it to generate anything that looked good aside from these, like, silvery furs. So this is what we've got to look at right now. But I would in the future also like to see if they do add a Rocky Mountain Elk. Uh, some type of red fur, like not a bright red, but more like a rustic brownish red and maybe something that mimics like a black and white piebald of some kind. Like there would be a lot of cool things they could do with it. This is just one example of many possibilities for fur types. If we ever get a Rocky Mountain Elk great one. So there's that other Rocky Elk that we ended up killing. Let's go ahead and pick that up. 272.11. You know, the Rocky Elk are one of the more fun animals to hunt that don't have a great one currently. And so it would be awesome if they could eventually get one, especially since you can hunt Black Bear and Rocky Elk at the exact same time with the current layout of their drink times. Now, the second one is a little more extreme, but bear with me because I do actually believe that a non-typical elk could get to this size. And the reason I say that is because this isn't just like a normal antlers for a Rocky Elk. This right here is in velvet. This is an albino non-typical elk in velvet. And this very well could make a fantastic great one. It could be the, uh, the big rack of sorts. And I think it would be really, really nice. And obviously everybody likes an albino elk. So if they did some variation of albino that maybe had a little bit of extra pizzazz to it, I think that could make a really awesome great one elk. But the main thing here is the velvet antlers. The velvet non-typical antlers are the biggest part of this that just, they look extreme, but that's kind of what great ones are supposed to be. They're supposed to push the boundaries of reality to show you something that you would never get to see in real life something that is truly a once in a lifetime trophy. And if you saw this in game, this would be a once in a lifetime trophy. Now this one right here is a little bit more grounded in reality, I would say, if you were talking a world-class giant bull. Obviously, this would be like a crazy bull if you came across it. But this one right here is not so unrealistic that it would be completely unbelievable that it could exist. Now you obviously, would probably have a more uh, 
fancy looking fur on a great one, but the antlers on this are absolutely crazy. This just reminds me of a world-class, world-record-sized, non-typical elk. And it's impressively large. This one right here is by far my favorite of all the ones I was able to get. This is beautiful. If we get a great one elk, we need this fur in the game. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely stunning. Like, I, I'm just impressed that I was even able to get this generated because I did probably an hour's worth of attempts and I never got anything even remotely close to being this good of a fur. Like, this is just insane. This is the coolest fur I think a great one out could ever have. So EW, if you're watching this video, please consider something like this whenever we get a Great One Elk. Because a lot of the community wants a Great One Elk, and this type of a fur would be just beautiful. It would be incredible to have this fur on an elk. And once again, this ant the antlers on top of this guy are in velvet as well. And these antlers are a bit more unique. They don't have like very pointed tines. And also, it's a lot of short tines that are clustered together. It does make for very unique looking potential great one. If you're still watching at this point, let me know in the comments which one of these you like the most. And if you think this type of a, a concept would make a good great one. The final one is a little bit more of what you would consider realistic. I guess this could just be like the giant typical rack. We've seen a lot of great ones in the past that have at least one rack that is more, I guess, typical looking instead of being like a non-typical. We've got the uh, the big rack fallow deer, which a lot of people consider to be a typical rack, just a very large version of one. We've also got the typical rack great one moose, which is, in my opinion, one of the better looking moose racks. And then for the whitetail, we almost have that. We've got one that people call the typical rack, even though it's technically not a typical rack. It's it's technically a non-typical that just has more of a typical shape. And very similarly to that whitetail that I just mentioned, this rack right here does have some non-typical tines, but not a ton of them. It still has the general shape of a typical rack, but with a few like extra little abnormal tines. And I think it looks really cool. And I also do really like the darker like black coloration of the antlers with the, the tips being rubbed off and more lighter colored. I think this would be a fantastic rack to have on a Great One Elk. Now, obviously, this is a more, I guess, normal looking fur on it, but it does have a super black uh, neck fur. It's got like black legs and then a normal tan body. If they just replace the, if they, if they did something like this, I would obviously want the like tan part of the body to be a different color, like maybe make that like some type of orange, like I mentioned. I think that could be kind of interesting, like a, not an unrealistic orange, but like kind of like the spruce great one moose. Something like that in, co in combination with the black would be really, really cool. But again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do any of these stand out to you as what would be a good great one elk? Or is there any in particular that you wouldn't want to see? Let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, hit that like button if you haven't already. It takes two seconds and it helps out the channel a ton. I mean, that's not an elk right there, but we might as well kill this mule deer if it's going to just run in front of us. Oh gosh. Well, <laughs> she ran right at us, so we might as well take her down as well. Uh, you know, 300 treatment, so not the correct gun, but we got her down. There is our Muley Buck 229.89. Again, didn't use the proper gun, so we're not gonna get proper uh, full score on it. We've got ourselves a couple of Rocky Elk over there, both of them being level threes. If you guys didn't know, uh, Rocky Mountain Elk was actually one of the very first animals that I attempted to do herd management on. So we actually do have our map like half managed down for elk. So, I mean, we got a solid chance of finding a couple of diamonds potentially, but I mean, it's been so long since I've really grinded for elk that I don't even know like where my main zones were back when I did grind for them. You know, as always, there is some other cool stuff I'd like to see in any new great one. I still really badly want them to do a great one that has barbed wire stuck in its antlers, uh, very similar to um, what they did with the red deer, where the red deer great one has the, uh, the leaves in it, the vines in it. I would like to see barbed wire 
in the antlers of a great one in the future. So maybe one of these days they'll do something like that, which would be quite cool. 335 to 422. We're actually going to shoot both of these. So let's get that guy first and then sneak a shot into that one as well. Down they go. That's some good looking elk. Some really, really good looking elk. So this is the smaller one right here. Honestly, it was kind of wonky. So actually, maybe it wasn't. No, I guess it wasn't as wonky as I thought. It looked wonky from that angle, but it actually looks kind of normal right here. So there is the larger of the two elk. This one is quite wonky. Yeah, that guy is really wonky. One side is much longer than the other. 40606 is not a bad score. That is a really solid gold level four Rocky elk. Man, I mean, we got a few mule deer coming towards us. I, I'd feel bad if I didn't shoot them because they're giving us such a perfect opportunity. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just pop that guy and that one as well. Maybe we can get this guy too. Yeah, there we go. Got all three of those bucks right there. This guy right here is our level four, 23102. That's actually a smaller level four, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a smaller level four. 231 is quite small compared to some of the fours that you see. I mean, this guy scored higher. 239, this guy actually scored higher than the level four, and he's the level three. Here's the last of the three. This one is definitely the smallest, 191, a uh, silver level three. Now, I am almost positive I still have some stacked level fives and diamond potential level fours on the map from back when we were doing the herd management for these elk right here. Um, this is definitely not a zone where we had some stack, but I mean, that is a couple of uh, ones that we need to shoot. This was definitely one of the lakes that I had as a main lake because uh, yeah, that's a lot of good size elk. Let's just make sure we're not gonna delete the zone. Uh, I think we're good. We got two of them down and I don't think that will delete anything. So there's one of them. This is our level four, 377.18, another solid looking bull. You know, the Rocky Mountain Elk have always been some of the better looking uh, animals in the game. In terms of just like how nice their antlers look, the Rocky Elk really do just stand out in terms of how spectacular they are and how nice they look. I never get tired of seeing big Rocky Elk, even if it's just like a level four or like a, a troll, like they still look really, really good. And considering how many people I see requesting an elk great one, I think the majority of the community kind of shares that same sentiment that these rocky elk are some of the better looking animals in the game. They're definitely one of the better looking animals. The Roosevelt elk, they still have a little bit of room for improvement with some of the antlers, but for the most part, they're pretty solid as well. But man, the rocky elk, there's just something about them. Well, that is most certainly not an elk, but that is a level four plains bison. So we might as well take this guy down for respawns. And wow, that was a hard shot. Not going to lie. I did not expect to hit the heart there. <laughs> That's crazy. So there is our bison 163.19. That's not too bad. That's kind of like in the middle of gold. And yep, we hit that giant heart of his man. Honestly, their heart is a massive target. <laughs> Couple more male plains bison out there. So let's just drop shots into both of them. We'll just do a, a headshot on that guy. <laughs> uh, go for the brain shot, because why not? If he's giving us the shot, we might as well take it. And the one that we shot first is actually still angry at us. We'll just brain shot that guy as well. Uh, it's too easy on the bison. I mean, we're not going to get full score because of that, but Hey, sometimes you just got to have a little bit of fun. Let's take a look at these two bison right here. Wait. I somehow got full score. I somehow didn't damage the skull. Oh my gosh. What, what are the odds of that? What are the odds that it doesn't register the skull? I know this is a bug that's existed for a while, but I rarely get it. Like with this one. Yeah, we damaged everything. That skull is demolished. Skull, brain, jaw, everything. Just wrecked him. So after having searched every easily accessible lake on my single player map, I think it's time we go into multiplayer and try to find a couple servers that are at elk time because I would like to do a little more elk hunting. However, I don't really want to walk like a full two, three kilometers just to get to some of the lakes that I haven't searched on my own map. I like how it didn't even put me in the server that I clicked, but hey, it's whatever, as the guy's name is. 
Yeah, I'm thinking multiplayer was the correct choice because already we got a couple of Rocky Mountain Elk right there that are not too bad. And this time in a feed zone, which is something we have not hunted them in today. So let's just shoot that one. And get that one as well. There is that level 4 for 2021. And geez, that guy's got a tight rack. Like, that is a super tight rack. Very, very close together. Interesting. So this one right here should not have nearly the score as the other one. Yeah, 29640. Not super crazy. This is, once again, not the server I clicked. What What's going on with the multiplayer in Call of the Wild right now? Like, it seems half the servers you click say they're not full. But then you click on it, and it says the server's full. And then the other half, it lets you join, and then you get into it, and it's not even the same server that you clicked on. It's interesting right now. I I'm really hoping they'll fix that soon, because it's making it really tough to do uh, stuff like I'm trying to do right now, where I'm looking for servers that are at Rocky Mountain Elk time, and I'd like to be able to actually find some, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, I'm sure they'll fix it at some point, but for now, it's going to be tough to do stuff like this. So I think that's probably going to be the end of the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video showing off some ideas for a potential Rocky Mountain Elk great one, and also hunting a little bit of elk and a few other things here on Silver Ridge Peaks. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, click that like button. If you want to, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!